Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and I'm back in my uh, Universal Electricity Mod Spotlight world. You've probably seen my Universal Electricity Mod Spotlight previously, where I showed you guys the electric furnace, the battery box, and the coal generator to tell you guys a little bit about the basics of Universal Electricity. But now it's time to move on to one of the first mods, which really starts adding some content. It's time for Electric Expansion. Electric Expansion is basically a mod that focuses on uh, energy storage and transfer. So it gives you a bunch more um, storage options, transfer options, and all kinds of other cool stuff. So you can see there's a bunch of items in my inventory that I'm going to start showing you guys right now. So without further ado, let's start jumping into electric expansion for universal electricity. So one of the really cool things that electric expansion adds here is a bunch of different types of wires and you can see a lot of them on the screen in NEI here. Uh, first off you've got copper, tin, silver, and uh, even high voltage wiring and you can see there's a bunch of different recipes for these guys. If you want the insulated version you just need to put some leather around your copper ingots uh, or you can go one for one insulated copper wire with one leather gives you one insulated copper wire. Not bad. So uh, pretty straightforward in terms of making your uninsulated versus your insulated wiring and be careful when you're standing on the uninsulated version they will give you a shock now and then if you get anywhere near them and they're uninsulated. Pretty straightforward wiring system. Uh, works just like any other wiring system even the one in the vanilla mode. You just connect it up and you've got power flowing. Cool. And once it's running everybody's happy. Awesome. Um, the other thing you can do with this stuff, which is pretty neat, is detect how much energy is flowing through a wire with a multimeter. Uh, you can get a handheld version, and when you right-click, it'll tell you the uh, amperage, the volts, and the watts traveling through. Or you can get yourself the block version here. Just uh, connect it anywhere on your network to the side, and you'll see it'll update here with how many amps, volts, and watts are traveling through the wire at a given time. Pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty neat. So it's a good way to detect how much um, energy in terms of amps, volts, and kilowatts now are traveling through the wire. Now I've gone ahead and broken a wire here because I want to show you another type of wire called the uh, wire switch. And this comes in every uh, form. It's pretty neat. Uh, all you got to do is apply a redstone signal when you want it to uh, connect with any nearby wire systems. So get myself a few levers just to demonstrate. And boom. Now that it's applying a redstone signal, the wires will connect and the generator will be allowed to turn on. But with the redstone signal off, the generator, because it has nowhere to send power, shuts itself down and the wire is no longer connected. Neat. That's pretty cool. And of course, uh, you can get some redstone running up along the side of this thing and uh, connect him just the same. Ta-da! Connected and disconnected. Perfect. And the opposite of this guy is the copper logistics wire. Boom. Just put them right there. And what's going to happen is, notice right now there's no redstone signal because there's no energy traveling through the line yet. However, once this whole heat heats up and the generator starts creating energy, it's going to emit a redstone signal um, adjacent. And you can see there's a bunch of settings here. Um, redstone output is set to on. So now it's going to output redstone signal. And there's some other future uses for the near future. Cool. So as you can see, all I got to do is take the uh, coal out of here, and uh, once the generator uh, stops sending power, I could even break the generator to demonstrate it, the redstone signal turns off. Now you know, might have noticed uh, with your wiring here, it takes three ingots to get six wires. So that's two wires per ingot. However, there's a cool little machine called a wire mill, which allows you to do this uh, a little bit more efficiently. So let's go ahead and get our wire mill set up here. Uh, just make sure he's connected. Cool. Uh, all you got to do, once it's got some power inside, is get yourself uh, some copper ingots. Nice. And I'll go ahead and throw them there, and you'll see it's currently status of working, and it produces three copper wire per ingot. So for two ingot, we got six wire. Awesome. I like that. So it's a nifty little machine. It uses electricity, but it's a little bit more efficient in the creating of your wires. And there are a few wires in this mod that you must use the wire mill for. Um, if we go ahead and check out our uh, wire recipes here, you'll note that um, copper wire, uninsulated version, there is a NEI plugin that shows you this. So you can see the wire mill shows one copper ingot to three uninsulated wires. Or three becomes six. Cool. Uh, one of those wires that requires the wire mill is the superconductor wire. Um, uninsulated superconductor wire um, or insulated superconductor wire is used for a couple important things um, and a little bit more advanced version of the mod. 
Next up, we've got the advanced battery box. You're going to need uh, some more batteries for this, um, and you're going to need one of those elite circuits that we saw in the last mod spotlight. You can just plug them in right here and uh, make sure to orient them so that the red side is facing your input cable. And you can see this guy can store uh, five Minecraft uh, or Mega Joules as opposed to the four that that one can store, but it's also got three upgrade slots, which is pretty cool, and it's also got a voltage rating. It can accept different types of voltage in universal electricity. I haven't touched on that stuff too much, but I will a little bit later in this video. Um, you can add some upgrades in here. So for example, you can add the basic storage upgrade, uh, which gets you one more um, mega jewel. Or you can add yourself the advanced storage upgrade, which gets you two more, or the elite storage upgrade, which gets you three more. And you can see these guys all require higher tier circuits um, and higher tier batteries pretty neat. Uh, you can also uh, throw in the down transformer upgrade which uh, can output different uh, voltages, the high voltage upgrade, and the HV acceptor upgrade which means the advanced battery box will be able to accept high voltage. Um, you can also store the ultimate storage upgrade in there which increases it by a whopping five uh, mega minecraft or mega joules. Yep, mega joules. Wow, MG between buildcraft and this? Confusing. Anyway, so yeah, those are your options uh, when it comes to messing around with this nifty block, the advanced battery block. And you can uh, get a bunch of uh, upgrades and stack them together. So if you got yourself a few uh, ultimate storage upgrades, see how that works? Pretty cool. But you can't place both in one block. You have to place them in separate. Pretty cool. And of course, while we're at the uh, upgrading of energy storage, we might as well touch on the fact that uh, in universal exp uh, electricity by itself, you're only going to have 20, mine, uh, 20 kilojoule batteries, but the electric expansion gives you elite batteries, which can store 750 kilojoules, much better, um, or the advanced battery, which isn't as good as the elite one, but still pretty good. Yeah. Not bad at all. Uh, and of course, these guys require silver for the advanced version, and the elite version is going to be a little bit more requiring a gassed tier and some lead, including some steel plates and other stuff. So pretty cool. There's also the infinite battery. This is a creative mode only item. You'll note that there's no recipe for it. Just go ahead and uh, toss it in there, and it creates um, an infinite amount of electricity for you. Uh, it's if you're building maps or doing anything creative mode with this mod. So did also want to show you guys this neat stuff, hidden copper wires, not too hard to get. Just add some stone and some insulated copper wiring together, and they're just a hidden version of copper wiring. And of course, there's uh, every version of wire can be uh, hidden in the same manner. So if we check it out, you'll see there's hidden tin, silver, HV, and superconductor wires. There's also a switch wire version um, so that you can toggle on and off with a redstone signal uh, with your hidden wiring. Neat. Now let's talk about transformers. So one of the things I mentioned a moment ago on the advanced battery box is it's currently set to a voltage of 240 output. Now, uh, of course, I can throw an upgrade in there, uh, a down transformer upgrade to reduce the voltage output. Um, but the other option is to go ahead and use uh, volt transformers. You'll note that there's three kinds. Uh, so let's go ahead and check these guys out. They're pretty neat. Uh, I'm going to get myself another advanced battery box and place him right here uh, and rotate him around so that he's connected and getting power. Now, if I use my multimeter, uh, we'll see uh, just how much energy is traveling through this line. You can see it's currently at 240 volts and uh, 41.6 amps. Cool. Um, and of course I could, if I wanted to, uh, go ahead and throw the block version of the multimeter on there just to make it even easier to demonstrate to you guys how this is working. Um, I wonder if I can rotate this guy so that he connects on the bottom. I don't think so. I think it only connects on the side. There we go. So you can see the uh, volts is right now 240. Cool. If I wanted to, I could set up a uh, volt transformer, even a uh, 240, 120, or 60 volt version. So let's go with the 120 for now. Um, you'll see that there's a red and a black side. So if I break this for a second, the red side is the one you connect to, as always. And then um, you can see when you mouse over it, it's currently stepping down the voltage. Uh, so if I were to now go ahead and connect a block. So for example, let's go ahead and get ourselves just... Uh, a little bit of uh, another battery box or three or 64 and uh, connected this guy right here uh, you'd see his energy is coming in and it's running at um, less we've got 120 volts okay so instead of um, 240 we've subtracted 120 because this is a 120 volt transformer and now we're letting 120 volts go through the line Okay, uh, pretty neat. So same amount of watts still, but um, you know we've got more amps going through here, 
and uh, less volts. If you're an electrician, you know what that means. If you're someone like me, you don't know exactly what it means, but you have a rough idea. Cool. And if we wanted to step this down even further, uh, we could use a 60 volt transformer like so, and then uh, we can go ahead and connect up just a normal battery box like this or some of the other machines. So different machines accept different amounts of power. Uh, so I'll just set this guy down here like this. And now the battery box can accept it. Cool, you can see his voltage is 120, but uh, we're currently just running 60 uh, volts through there. There we go, 60 volts. We're still waiting for electricity to filter, it's all the way down. It's going in here, going in there, everywhere. If we break this, it should be a little bit more accurate. There we go, 60 volts, nice. So that is pretty much what we're looking at seeing. You can down step, and if you want, uh, you can shift uh, right click to step up your voltage. And if you send too much voltage into a machine like you just saw, it might explode. So what we've got here now is we're stepping up the voltage, and you can see it right here. Uh, we don't have any machines connected at the moment, let's see. Yeah, we don't have any machines, I don't think, right now that I haven't shown you yet uh, that can accept higher voltages, but just note that some generators and some other advanced machines that we haven't seen yet can produce massive amounts of voltage, and you're going to need to step it down quite a bit to allow it into your machines. So this is a good example here with the battery box, um, the amount of voltage it's uh, pumping out and having to down convert it to prevent explosions. Cool. And there's one more uh, storage block that I want to show you called the quantum battery box. Now you can't make this with any of the materials we've seen thus far. You're going to need some antimatter, which I'm going to get to when I get to one of the other mods. Uh, but put that around an advanced battery block, and we've got a quantum battery block, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, step this guy down again by shift right clicking with the wrench, and uh, connect the quantum battery box to it neat. Uh, and you can see we can rotate it. And in here, it's allowed to accept power. You can see the player who owns it. And you can set a frequency. So I'm going to set this frequency to 5. It's basically uh, wireless power transfer. So I'm going to set another quantum battery box right over here and uh, connect the wire out this side. And then get one of those furnaces. So let's get an electric furnace. Cool. There we go. And now I gotta do is just set this thing to frequency five and hit set. And you can see that it currently is storing power and uh, we are able to power and smelt our stuff. So it's basically wireless power transfer. How cool is that? But like I said, if you wanna get that, you're gonna need some antimatter, which I haven't shown you how to get yet. You're gonna have to dig into some of the other really advanced items. So there's a lot more to cover in the Universal Electricity mod pack, but the electric expansion is basically what gives you a little bit more options in terms of transferring, converting your power, and storing it. So one of the next mods we're gonna cover is gonna show more ways to use your power and generate it. And there's all kinds of advanced automation techniques, liquid transfers, tons of different mods to check out in Universal Electricity. I'm really looking forward to seeing some more of them. So this is Direwolf20 signing off on the Electric Expansion Mod Spotlight. Hope you guys ch enjoyed checking it out. And uh, definitely download the Electric Expansion, or the Universal Electricity Mod Pack from the Feed the Beast launcher, and you'll get all these cool mods and many more. All right, guys, this is Direwolf20 signing off. Take it easy.